Here we're looking at an air handler evaporator coil box and the thermostatic expansion valve which controls the superheat. Just to tell you what superheat is, this is a saturated refrigerant right here. We have the liquid refrigerant and this small amount of vapor. It's like 80% liquid, 20% vapor. It's at 36 degrees and it maintains 36 degrees as it's traveling through the tube until it turns into a completely vapor state. Then that vapor temperature increases. So what happens is you have heat crossing this coil but saturated refrigerant only does a phase change. It does not change in temperature. But anyway, you have 36 degrees here, and it's going to increase in temperature as the vapor travels through the refrigerant tube until it comes out of the coil right over here at 48 degrees. So 48 degrees minus 36 degrees, that's 12 degrees of superheat, and superheat is the temperature increase of the vapor refrigerant. If you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com where we have a bunch of articles. We've got quick tips, quizzes, calculators. We also have our refrigerant charting and service procedures for air conditioning book.